all right so the reason we are getting error right here cannot get slash is because we haven't created a route for this path all right which is localhost 3000 or it is also called slash which is the root path and that's what we're going to do next all right so here we created a server okay and it is done by app.listen method let me also comment and say create a server all right next thing what we're going to do is routing okay and here i'm also going to comment and say route for slash all right route for our root path now normally when you go to a particular website all right let's say you go to uh, facebook.com now when you type in facebook.com and press enter you will see something in your web page all right whether it's the home page or whether it's your dashboard you will see something so in in your in that case what is happening is that you are requesting something to the server all right in, uh, in this case the facebook page you are requesting that by typing the url and server in response will give you that page or show you that page okay the same thing we are going to apply here okay when you type in local os 3000 you're actually requesting the server you need the access to the root path and server in response will give you something whether that's a data or whether that's an html page itself or whether anything you know so we need to create that just follow along for now all right so we're gonna say app dot get all right and again it will require two things the first one and it will be in single quotes or double quotes the first one will be the path that you are requesting all right here the path that i'm requesting is slash all right is the same thing whether it's localhost 3000 or slash all right if you add a slash right here it will give you the same thing so the path i'm requesting is the root path which is slash all right and the next thing that app.get requires is a callback function all right and this function will take in two things one is req which is request and another one is res which is response i'm going to talk about request and response in a bit right now let's just say res dot send and I'm gonna say hello world all right let's just follow along for now I'm gonna explain this later on and now let's just terminate this by saying control C and let's do node app again all right you need to you need to actually terminate and then do node app because otherwise it won't work so let's do node app and hit enter it's a server is running and now if we go to our page and hit the refresh button now you get hello world all right so if you go to our code right here this app.get method it is one of the method that is used for routing all right and as i said earlier it takes two things one is the callback function and the another one is the path that we are actually requesting we were requesting for the root path that's why i added a slash here and in our callback function what we actually did was we we added a response for this path as i said earlier this rec req rec is for request and res is for response and each of them has certain methods that you can use depending on what you're doing right for now we just wanted to send a response that's why we did res dot send all right and dot send what it does is sends the response and inside that we just added hello world that's why it's sending hello world right here all right and basically this is how you actually do your routing now instead of just hello world you can also add html by saying h1 and h1 all right if you save that and right now it's not gonna work because we need to close the server and then start again all right now if you refresh now instead of that small text you are getting an h1 element 
all right if you check the source code there you go you just have h1 however in a normal website once you are entering some site you'd want an entire web page instead of just h1 tag all right so later on we will be sending the entire html instead of just an h1 tag right for for right now let's just go go with it now let's also create a route for the about page all right so here let me add a comment and say route for about page so it's the same thing again app.get and now instead of slash i'm going to say slash about all right because if i want to if i would want to go to about page i would have to go to this part which is slash about all right because localhost 3000 is already booked for the root path that's why i'm going to say slash about and let's give a comma here and the callback basically this function will run once you have requested the about path all right so here we're going to have rec and res as we have here and i'm going to send a response again res.send and here let's just type about all right basically it's the same thing same thing for what we did for the root path all right instead of this slash we just have about here and we are sending about text so let's close this and let's do node app again server is running let's refresh this page and now if you go to if i go to about there you go the route for about is also made you can create as much route as you want all right but for this project or for this application i'm just going to have some few routes okay so i hope you guys understood about how routing work in express all right so now what we're going to do is right now we are just sending this h1 hello world or just text all right now what you want to do is send the entire site itself okay so we're going to do that next